Hello friends, my name is Sarmat and in today's tutorial uh, I am sharing a little bit um, uh, tips and SEO guidelines for the wordpress.com free blogs uh, which offers uh, you a blog platform uh, in which you can make your um, WordPress post your articles or columns or whatever you want you're going to share your experience with your buddies or friends so uh, in this lecture we are making a SEO friendly wordpress.com free blog that how you can fetch your blog uh, in just two or three days in Google search bar uh, which uh, mostly helps you to enhance your re readability and people can easily search out your blog by just writing your name or your blog address uh, 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 so that they will help you to find out in Google in no time so let's uh, uh, take an example of my friend's blog uh, Sukanatul Abhiha by just typing her name on Google and you will see that uh, her blog is on the front page that is uh, shown here uh, and her first blog post is uh, right after her blog link so how you can get your blog in such manner in Google search option so for that you need to go to the wordpress.com to make your free blog in the wordpress.com free blog system you will uh, see this there are two options wordpress.org and wordpress.com wordpress.org is mostly a premium option for .net.com .org website but we are going to choose .com for a free blog system from here you can choose a category for your blog that uh, what kind of blog you are going to make so we are going to make a technology blog for a technology blog, uh, what we need here uh, is to set a layout for our blog that is a three columns layout, four columns layout and the other layout. So we are going to use a three column layout for our blog. From here, uh, choose any of your desired theme which we want to choose. You can change it later on by your own desires. So here are the different themes by the WordPress which offers you a free design. So we are picking here a first one this is the most important function here uh, you're going to choose a name of your wordpress uh, blog website uh, the name of your blog should be unique and the keywords of your blog should be uh, by your name or some such keywords that are frequently typed in google so uh, they must be a unique name so uh, your friend or other people can easily find you on google by typing your name or your blog web address so uh, uh, from here i am going to make my uh, designer friend mosin blog uh, as a demo uh, for this tutorial so we are uh, searching here for a uh, name uh, of his uh, uh, blog that whether his blog is uh, address is available or not so we're going to choose our designer Mohsin Said as an example and let's see that uh, is it available or not and here we go it is available so just click on it and you will select a blog address from here there are different packages are available the premium packages and a free packages so we are going to use a free package which offers you a 3 GB uh, space a basic customization hundred of free templates community support and a jetpack plugin which offers you a SEO friendly option which is the most important one and then uh, a subdomains option so select the plan and go to the next section from here uh, you're going to write your email address so that uh, they will uh, send you a verification email so that your account got verified in wordpress.com so just uh, write down your email address here uh, and after that this is your username and here you are going to use a unique password the password should contain um, uh, one capital letter some symbols and a letter to make it strong uh, so we are going to use uh, a strong password here and from now on 
click on create my account so uh, it may take some one minutes or two minutes to uh, assemble the database uh, in the back end and uh, you need to log into your email and verify your account so from for that we are going to uh, log into our email address so that we can uh, easily verify our wordpress blog go to the gmail account and verify it and uh, just do it we are done here just continue verify your email and you can see here that after this process you will see here verification is being done your uh, your blog is now verified with your gmail account and you will not get any uh, coins by the wordpress team that uh, verify your blog or we need a security check or whatever they want so from here go to the settings option and uh, uh, you cannot rename your blog from here that is the site address and a title line or a tagline of your blog and the privacy is as public as shown here so what we need to do is to just copy your blog address and go to the cpanel and type wp-admin to get into the uh, main cpanel of your wordpress blog or the admin panel or the dashboard here you can see a pages post your space and your use space here some activity of your recent activities and the other stuff so what we're going to do next is go back to your gmail account and go to the google webmaster tools google webmaster tools uh, uh, are basically designed for uh, most of the functions here that uh, these tools help you in uh, fetching your uh, blog or blog articles in the google front page by uh, scanning or synthesizing what kind of data or tags they are offering we will discuss on the uh, wordpress seo post that how you can fetch your wordpress seo uh, post in google front page by using google search consoles so uh, later on we will discuss about it so just go to the google search console and into your blog uh, section go back to your blog section and uh, just go to the uh, tools and available tools from here you can see that uh, Google uh, webmaster tools uh, the Pinterest verification tools the Bing webmaster tools is being uh, used by the hotmails and uh, Microsoft is officials hotmail and the Yandex webmaster tool for the we are going to verify here a Google webmaster tool from now on so uh, the Bing and the interest we will discuss on them later on so for the google webmaster tool verification go to your uh, um, webmaster tool copy your blog address and into the blog uh, uh, google search console just paste it from here uh, there are different options that uh, there are the html file verification which is needed to upload the html file verification in your cpanel to en enable it but we don't have uh, a such option uh, because uh, we are using a free hosting plan a free hosted blog in the wordpress.com so we cannot upload html file here so for that uploading html file will go to the alternative methods to do so so upload our uh, uh, verification files which are automatically being uploaded in our cpanel by using a html tag section in the html tag just copy the uh, meta tag go back to your blog and paste in the google webmaster tool verification area and just save the setting after that it will show you a small code here which means that your code has been saved so go back to your blog uh, uh, webmaster tool and verify your property so we are done now our property has been verified this means that your blog will be fetched in uh, google uh, in one days uh, it will take maximum one two days to verify your uh, blog in google search but we will discuss it uh, in our next tutorial that uh, how to fetch your blog faster in google search uh, um, uh, so that uh, google will fetch all your wordpress pages and post in the search bar uh, so uh, now we need to rename our blog and some other functions but uh, the most important function is to enable the testimonials and uh, other files but you can see here your wordpress blog pages uh, so you need to edit them uh, before the 
google fetch your blog in the search bar so what we need to do is uh, go to your blog and see how it looks like and uh, just get in the post section and it will restore your all demo post for them you can see from here and uh, the blog just opening the slow net of the PTCL and get into the general setting and just rename your blog that is designer Mohsen Said and in the tagline uh, you can write any of your tagline that is um, whatever you want so we are going to write a designer uh, a graphic designer and just save out the settings and done now uh, now go to the writing option and enable the testimonials and portfolio to uh, enable uh, such functions uh, uh, like you're adding uh, some new functions or whatever things just save down the setting and now go back to your blog and refresh it to see the results now we are going to uh, adding a share option this option is the most important option that because it helps you in uh, um, sharing your articles in different social platforms like uh, when a person visits your blog and he wants to share your story with his uh, other social media friends so um, he would like to share them but uh, for that you need to add the options in the sharing option like uh, these options are here listed here and it will automatically save all the function the public lies option uh, is uh, a new uh, option enabled by the wordpress but we will discuss it on later on and now um, go to the post section and you will see here a demo post of your blog just refresh your blog to see the blog title name and the other functions which we have changed uh, earlier here and uh, you can see here the name is designer uh, motion say then the tagline is graphic designers and some of the sample posts are being showing here so uh, in my next tutorial we are going to remove all these demo post and going to upload our own web uh, articles which is SEO friendly articles and fetch it in Google in one day so you have to wait for it and uh, you can also find my more tutorials by following me on my YouTube channel and uh, you can also email me your uh, feedbacks and questions or by following me on my twitter account thanks